When I wake up, I firstly take a shower and I'll make sure my books are packed and I'll get my phone and my headphones and I then listen to my music and just dance around as I walk to the bus. I get my music by downloading it from the internet. I don't really care where I get my music from. I feel like it's still music at the end of the day. I don't really think sharing music with my friends is bad. We'll send music to each other. We just listen to the music together. I love to listen to Tegrin because his music is it's really good. It says so much and it's also really groovy. Green in the building. Malawi, stand up. I'm very passionate about music. I noticed that a lot of the youth, especially here in Malawi, were embracing Western culture. I realized that I could do something about it. That's where the passion is drawn from, you know, uh, spearheading the culture into the forefront, sort of uh, exporting Malawian culture to the rest of the world. Yes, it is difficult making a living off of music in Malawi. And the reason I say this is because we don't have platforms where we can actually sell our music. It's easy for anyone to sort of download it. They, they set it up on sites where it's illegally downloaded. Copyright is very important uh, in my industry because it's my sort of uh, security mechanism. It's something that protects the work that I put out. One of the problems we have is this civic education. People don't understand copyright. Uh, they don't know what it's there for. And therefore, when you don't know you're breaking a law, it's easy to go ahead and continue doing what you're doing. You know, it becomes normal when a song comes out for you to download it illegally. By taking it illegally, you're killing me. You know, uh, you're putting me in a place where I can't operate, I can't function and produce more. Today's lecture was about copyright. Okay, let's give an example of a bag. This is your own property. Can you be happy if this one, someone uh, just comes and get this without permission? So, if we are talking about property, we are talking about things owned by someone. This is a resource that has to be respected because it's not your own. When we are looking at copyright, we are looking at the protection of the original works of the authors. A creator is the only person who is supposed to redistribute his copies, not someone else. So we need to respect starting from now on the works of other people. Don't just copy them and then we make them our own. When the teacher was talking about the intellectual property, I didn't really think that, you know, someone would steal something that's not physical, like music or writing. It taught me a lot, especially about um, copyright and how we have to respect each other's creative ideas and thoughts and we just have to get their permission. Hello everybody, so my name is Tay Grimm and I'm here to talk to you guys briefly about why copyright is very important. Uh, how many of you like my music? Yeah? I have a question for you. Do you download my music legally, as in do you pay for it, or do you download it illegally? Be honest, be honest. Illegally, yeah? Illegally, yeah? Uh -huh. Now you see why that is wrong. I'm gonna tell you why that is wrong. You see, the more you download something illegally, what happens is we don't make money. And in the future, then you might start to ask yourself, but there used to be this guy called Tate Green, he used to do music. He doesn't do music anymore. What happened? Usually that happens because artists are not making their money and people are infringing on their copyrights. You understand the importance of that, right? So we just want to say thank you for telling us more about copyright. No, I'm happy that you guys have learned so much. You know, copyright is very important. Not only for me, but even for you guys. Uh -huh. Yay! Say, man, and if you need up, man, and it's a kid up. Hey!
Everybody now, got to let your leg, bend it over slowly. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Huh?